Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my home library. This is a project that I've been working on for the last couple of months um, and I'm finally ready to share it. I have to, at the beginning, give props to Squirrel's Bookshelf from the UK. She's a YouTuber that I was inspired to actually complete this project. She has a wonderful YouTube channel all about books and libraries and she documented her incredible project um, creating a fantasy themed library of her own and I will link her YouTube channel below because it really was an amazing transformation that she did on hers. Mine was a lot simpler. Um, this is um, a spare room that I have in my home. It was considered a bedroom but it's very very small I think it's only about 8 by 10 and um, it was formerly just a catch-all room um, you know that room that you put stuff in to take care of later and I decided I wanted to have a home library because I did have uh, quite a few books spread all over the house although I didn't realize how many I had until I started gathering them together so I wanted to do a dark academia theme library and um, while I was putting this together um, in the real sense, I also created a uh, computer database for all my books and was shocked to <laughs> realize I have 550 books uh, in total. And not only does uh, my library store my many volumes of books, it also has a small Harry Potter collection in the closet, former closet, as well as many uh, antiques. Because I wanted it uh, dark academia, I uh, collected up my antiques that kind of fit into that theme and added them to this room. So I hope you enjoy seeing. So I'll just do a quick run through of the room. Um, I won't by any means be pulling out a bunch of books. I will do a um, slideshow of still photos at the end so that you can see um, some of the features of the room and books uh, up close. So as I said, Dark Academia, um, I was lucky this room was already painted this dark red. Actually it's a two-tone red. Um, so that was a great base to um, put all of these um, special items on the wall and on the shelves. So um, I have a uh, couple of taxidermied butterflies that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $15. And on the back it had a $60 price tag. Um, it was just a woman wanting to get rid of it. Um, so I thought that really fit in with the theme. Other than that, a lot of these items I already had, uh, vintage postcards, that kind of thing. The candles are Amazon, obviously not real candles, but they are wax, and I'll, you'll see them throughout the room. Um, I have a shelf that I used to have in my art studio, and it stores uh, a few items, uh, like shells, rocks, gems, that kind of thing. And uh, instead of a chair in this room, because it is a small room, I have this refinished uh, step ladder, which uh, was uh, something that we picked up in an antique shop down in the States many years ago. Um, but I did win this typewriter, this vintage 1927 portable typewriter that still works um, from uh, a shop that hubby used to uh, work at. And uh, so I was thrilled to win that at auction, uh, along with the stand that it's on. So I thought that fits in here really well. One of the first books to show you is uh, Robert Browning uh, poetry book on flowers. Hard to see, but there are some um, dried roses back there. And you'll also see in my collection uh, quite a few trophies. So this is a uh, brass trophy. Again, antique one. Old map, piano, lamp highlights, a couple of special books. 
uh, because I live in Winnipeg, Winnie the Pooh is very special, so that's a very special volume. Velveteen Rabbit and uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I also have this uh, little woman's pocket diary from uh, 1851. It's beautiful. Um, so it has uh, rules and regulations on what women, how women should uh, present themselves, all kinds of um, information. And also it is actually filled in a diary from the 1851. So uh, this is pretty cool. I got that from a bookshop that unfortunately was uh, closing out. So it had a sale on all its books at 60, then 70, and then 80% off. So I got uh, quite a few older volumes to add to my library at that time. I also have this uh, antique Bausch & Lomb microscope and a few other uh, antiques drawing courses. There's like five volumes I think in there. The crib board is something very special. Um, Hubby and I used to play crib every weekend and when he got sick um, I brought the crib board to the hospital so we could still play and before he passed away we had one final game and that's what I've kept the board at is the uh, final scoring for the last game we ever played. He won. So I want to keep that as a remembrance. It's very special. And a few other antiques, uh, journals, uh, bookmarks, postcards. That's a steampunk sculpture I did of a airship made out of a light bulb. So that's something that I just made up a few years back. And I have a few Harry Potter things, even though daughter has um, most of the Harry Potter things uh, in our house. I actually still have it all for her in our basement. She has toys, Lego, games, all kinds of vintage things when they first came out. So, but the majority of things that I have in this room are Harry Potter things that I've collected for myself because I am a fan as well. So uh, a few things from the Wizarding World in Orlando, Florida when I went in 2013. And I'm a Gryffindor, so you'll see a lot of Gryffindor things. That's her set of books. Um, her husband also has this set, so uh, she uh, let me keep this uh, set here. Those are the Fat Lady bookends. I got those for her when they first came out, so they're well over 20 years old. And uh, beautiful, beautiful set from Hallmark. I got the page to screen uh, book um, just recently, so I'm looking forward to uh, reading more of that. I've already flipped through it a little bit. It's beautiful. And other Harry Potter collectibles, movies, Gringotts, is, that's a real bank. Well, not a real bank, it's a, a bank to collect money in. My wand, more books, and uh, some knitting, that kind of thing. That's the case for the typewriter. I also met Warwick Davis quite a few years ago. I've met him a couple of times. So when I did, I made sure that he signed a Harry Potter calendar for my daughter as Professor Flitwick. That's one of my daughter's toys. I thought it would just look good on a pedestal that I refinished here in this room. My mannequin now uh, sports my Gryffindor robes and uh, the Quidditch sweater that I knit. I have quite a few Harry Potter knit items. And the robe uh, came from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour um, shop. I haven't visited that in the UK, but uh, I ordered it online. And behind that, this uh, mannequin kind of covers up where we have uh, an air conditioning unit but I thought I would let you see this. Um, this was a box we got when we went to the uh, book release of the um, Order of the Phoenix back in 2003. So this June, that will be 20 years ago. Hard to imagine. So we have a few, few uh, store displays and things like that as well. Okay, on to the books. 
the um, first shelf that I wanted to share with you I uh, got from Amazon all of my shelving units this one is a five shelf shelving unit um, so I got seven of these and four four shelf units so they all match previously I um, had kind of a mishmash of different shelving units and just didn't look very nice so I just decided I was going to refinish this room I might as well make all the units uh, the same so I got them all and put them all together and I don't want to ever put together shelving units ever again between these and the four that I added to my living room recently um, uh, I don't ever want to put together shelving units again <laughs> but uh, but it does look good uh, so the top shelf is just uh, hobbies um, miscellaneous and, uh, uh, non-fiction um, gardening knitting that kind of thing um, the next shelf is uh, comic books comics as in uh, newspaper comics and my favorite being Calvin and Hobbes I have the whole collection of those uh, those books the next shelf is uh, children's literature and Disney um, so yeah I was going to actually put some of these in my classics collection but I thought uh, they're all children's literature I might as well keep them all together here and they're laying down because they are some of them are just too tall to stand up I have a few comic books as well um, obviously from you know being a kid in the 60s things like uh, Bullwinkle and uh, Quick Draw McGraw or Scamp love those so yeah I have a few a collection of uh, a few comics from my childhood and then below that is some miscellaneous larger books I also have a collection of Star Wars autographs if you're interested in those I have a Star Wars video on my channel and so I have a few Star Wars um, uh, hardcover books and uh, other books that I brought up from the basement I have uh, like half my basement as a Star Wars collection so I have quite a few of those now on to the two short shelves underneath my uh, window here um, all of them are paperbacks so I have quite a few Star Wars paperbacks but I also have a fair collection of um, uh, Arthur C. Clarke and some classics that are in paperback so um, share those with you again I will do uh, photos so that you can see these better but uh, uh, when I was putting all these into my database I would record whether you know I've read it or not each book and so my database tells me I've read about 60% of my collection here so that's pretty good I do like to keep my books. I can loan them out if, if I wish to, or uh, maybe reread them. I don't know. Um, so, a lot of these ones on the lower shelves are uh, Star Wars from many years ago, or the many, many years ago. And beside the window, I have another tall cabinet that houses my hardcover uh, adult fiction books. So I uh, love Douglas Adams, um, Crichton, Asimov. Um, I have quite a few of the uh, Outlander books. I got a lot of those from Value Village, a thrift store here in Canada. And I was even surprised one of them was uh, signed so that was great for a five dollar find to find a, uh, a signed uh, outlander book and uh, yeah so well, i love science fiction as if you can probably tell uh, right now i'm reading um, the andy weir book project uh, hail mary and that's the same fellow who wrote the martian i just finished reading the martian and then watched the movie again after it book has got a lot more to it that's for sure but both are, are very good 
So um, a lot of these items that you'll see in my library, I also got at the thrift store, like this globe and the candelabras and that kind of thing. Uh, the trophies I've collected off of Facebook Marketplace or online or at uh, antique shows. So the next set of three tall cabinets that I have along this wall uh, mostly house my classics. So um, I'll start here. There's, uh, there are organized uh, by author. So yeah, there's uh, quite a few classics in my collection. Some I've read, some I'm looking forward to reading. And uh, as I said, I'll also have uh, photos so that you can see these titles a little bit better. I have a lot of Charles Dickens, that kind of thing. Um, a lot of them that I've been wanting to read for uh, many years. The copy of Moby Dick was my husband's. And uh, that book that's open is the plays of uh, uh, William Shakespeare. Found that at Value Village. And again, more classics with a few of my antiques that I've had for a few years. Science fiction, of course, has to have H.G. Wells. And I also have a small Titanic collection, so I brought the Titanic books in here. And uh, one of them, my daughter found, I don't, I can't remember if she said it was from a, um, an antique show or if she got it at a, uh, a garage sale, but she got it dirt cheap. And it's actually, Titanic book, copyright, 1912, the year that it sank. So, that's special. Yeah. So I have, uh, if you've seen my channel, I have done a, um, a model of the Titanic. And uh, I'm doing a larger model right now, so I'm still in the process of, of making that second one. So those are my Titanic books. Also besides the classics on these shelves are my art books. So I have a signed copy of An Artist in Nature by Robert Bateman, one of my very favorite Canadian uh, naturalists and artist. Amazing, amazing work. I have one of his prints in my bedroom. And I also took out the art books from my studio and put them in here as well. So I have many reference books. Uh, everything from Bob Ross, uh, original um, books, uh, to botany and um, classics. So um, yeah, it's a great, uh, great reference. And then I have a few nature books, Audubon and other birds and and animals. And on this shelving unit I also have uh, a few antique uh, chem lab supplies. I had these, uh, I used them at Halloween for display and I thought, well, I might as well put them in my library. I have an extra shelf. If I do run out of uh, room for books, I can always move these. But for now, they make a nice display especially in front of the book called The Transvisions of Anatomical Chromographs. It's one of those books that has the see-through, the clear acetate pages uh, and has many layers of the human body, men and women. I won't open that. Um, so that's really neat. And a few books from when I uh, studied as a medical assistant. And then of course I have to have a shelf dedicated to space and science uh, for Stephen Hawking and Carl Sagan, two of my favorites. I used to have a telescope, I gave it away, but when I did have it, I had a few books on, uh, on using telescopes. So there's a few of those books. And that um, Gears sculpture is just uh, something that I made quite a few years ago. So on the top, I also have um, 
a few items. This atlas is uh, from 1891. And not only is it an atlas, it has all kinds of information on, on countries of the world. It's really interesting. I'd like to um, fix the binding on that. Another project. And Jack Sparrow. This room used to have a, a lot of uh, pirates stuff in it, and uh, so I took those downstairs but kept these because I do have um, an autograph from Johnny Depp I got a few years ago. And a few film cells, as well as some Lord of the Rings items. Hubby gave me that uh, Barbie set. They sit atop the shelf that has my Lord of the Rings items. Sorry for the glare. Uh, so not only the movies, there's a movie cell there as well. I also have different volumes of the trilogy. And I'm looking, and, and others, uh, by Tolkien. Um, and I'm looking for more of certain volumes because I only have one of that large set. Um, so I'm looking for the others to complete the sets. So the other things I have on these two shelving units are just um, movies and uh, TV shows and also some uh, some CDs with my favorite music. So I pared down the collections quite a bit when hubby passed away and uh, gave my daughter the movies that he really enjoyed and I knew that I wasn't going to watch anymore. So um, I kept these ones to view for myself. So that's my library. I hope you enjoyed seeing it and uh, hopefully I didn't move the camera too too quickly and that you got to see uh, a, a good representation of, of the room. It's hard to do during the day because it's quite bright in here and there was a, quite a glare. So I decided to do this filming in the evening, so hopefully it's not too dark. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or um, you know, comments about my library, um, put them in the comments below. And if you have a library of your own, I'd love to see it. I love seeing people's uh, home libraries and collections. Um, so, as I said, I'll follow this up with a short slideshow um, showing a few favorite volumes and um, better pictures. So until I do my next video, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care. I hope everyone is well. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.